Hello and greetings from Person Tylers. My name is Mayank and you are watching the 21st video of the 100 LRDI challenge for CAT 2020. So guys, I am overwhelmed by the love and support you have shown to us through your subscriptions on our YouTube channel and the love and the comments that you have been posting regularly. I sincerely hope that you have learned a lot in our previous 20 videos but do remember that this is only 20%, 80% is yet to come. Just imagine how much more learning is going to come. So thank you so very much and now getting on to the set number 21. I have named it University Admissions. This set was asked in CAT 2008 which was the last paper pencil test for CAT after which to the, in 2009 CAT became online. Okay, so uh, this is a very special set. I have done it umpteen number of times uh, in the classes with various students and uh, it is a little thrilling because the story of this set is based on a little bit on how CAT actually takes its admission or how the IIMs rather take. Please read this while I would also like to inform the people who have not watched previous videos and uh, this is their first video that if you want to receive these sets and questions in the PDF format so that you can make a collection then please do join our WhatsApp group the link of which is mentioned in the details of the youtube video okay the second installment of the data is this table this table is of utmost importance so you must have read the information written in words earlier so what i would like to clear before we move to the questions is that the cells which are empty see this one this one this one so a lot of students misinterpret this as the missing data so this is not missing data Okay, so people generally perceive that the sum of all these four numbers in section A, B, C and D make the total. It's not the aggregate here does not mean the sum of these four. These are cutoff marks you have to understand. What it means is that suppose we take the example of college one. So college one requires cutoff only in three sections, section A, B and C. So if you get 42, 42, 42 in these three sections and overall 176. For that you need to get 50 marks in section d also if somebody gets 50 50 50 in section a b and c and then gets only 26 marks in section d he or she will also get a call i hope i make it clear now suppose call, there is college 3 college 3 only wants the cutoff in section c so suppose somebody gets a 50 mark in section c okay that leaves with the remaining 121 now you distribute 121 marks among the three sections the way you want this guy will definitely be called by college three this is what it means so what it means is that your overall sum of the four sections should be this on the extreme right column and in the required sections you need at least that much a score rest whatever happens doesn't matter Okay, a lot of people also get confused that there were different exams for college 1, college 2, college 3. So, it's not like that. No one has exam this 6 times. It's like CAT, you know. You write one exam and then the 20 IMs and hundreds of other institutes take your score, that, that single score of that one exam. Okay, so that one exam was written. Whatever scores you get, your calls will be decided on the basis of that one unique score by these different six colleges. So let us now get to the questions to understand the set better. So each question is very different from each other, is uh, doesn't help the other question. So it is quite possible that somebody might get only one question correct with the correct observation and the correct concept while the other two wrong. It has happened many times. Okay, so let us see what our approach is like. So, you know, in the questions like these, when everything is not clear, some things, only some things are mentioned. The questions are asked with a minima maxima approach. Like you see in this question also, it says, Bhama got calls from all the colleges. What could be the minimum aggregate marks? So, we want her to score as low as less marks as possible and yet get calls from all the colleges okay so let us decide section wise so if you see section a in section a the cutoff is required only by three colleges and the maximum scored is desired by college 545 so i decide that dhama should get 45 if she does not get a score of 45 and gets a score of 44 say so she will be rejected by college 5 and that is undesirable Okay, so she has to get a 45 
on section a while she might get 46 or 47 or 50 also but we have to remember that we have to minimize her overall score so she should get 45 bare minimum in section a in section b i can see three colleges require the cutoff and the maximum score is 45 among the three so in this also she should get 45 in section c as per the requirement by college three she should get a score of 46 i'm assuming that bhama is the name of a girl so therefore she and in section d similarly she should get a score of 45 so if she manages to get these scores then she'll definitely definitely get the calls from all the colleges so if you add these you get an overall score of 181 hence the aggregate is also sufficient for all the colleges to call her hence our clear-cut answer becomes 181 I hope you understood. If not, you can take a pause, think about it. Only when you are 100% clear and confident and agree to this, you can move ahead. Second question. Charlie got calls from two colleges. What could be the minimum? Again, we have to minimize the score, but this time not aggregate. By him in a section. Kisi ek section mein uska score minimize karna hai. Our single point agenda is to minimize his score in one section, any one section. If his score is to be minimum, we select the colleges in which the overall minimum aggregate is required. Okay, so that is 171 and 175. See, aggregate has its importance in this question because uh, we have to tally the overall marks. So suppose I pick the college number 5 which requires 180, then I will have to increase his marks in one section okay while if it is only 175 i can yet decrease his marks by five so this makes sense so i choose colleges three and two in that order because these are the two lowest score required okay so for these two colleges only section b and section c have the requirement of cutoff so what i'll do i will provide them with 50 50. please understand if the total is constant and I have to minimize only one portion, then I need to maximize the other portions. And then let me maximize his score in section D also. So 50, 50, 50, that was the maximum possible marks he could score in a section. So 50, 50, 50 in sections B, C and D. Now I will be able to reduce, minimize his score in section A. So, so far in sections B, C and D together, he has scored 150. Now he needs to get an overall score of 175. Otherwise, college two will not call. So you see 150 we have already managed. Hence, he has to get a bare minimum of 25 marks in the first section so that his overall becomes 175 and the individual sectional cutoffs have already been taken care of. Hence, we get the answer as 25. 25 is the minimum possible score in a particular section. It could have been section D also. Some people might ask why I chose section D randomly. I could have maximized in section A and minimized in section D. They did not give us the name of the section. They only asked us in a section. So that section could have been randomly chosen. I hope you understand. If you have understood, please move to question three as we are moving. Third and the last question, Aditya did not get a call from even a single college. And yet we have to maximize his score. This question ke through, dosto, aap shayad ye samaj paayenge ki sirf score lana important nahi hai, sectional ka kitna importance hota hai. So we will see just like we saw in the first question, mein, Bhama got a score of 181 yet got a call from all the colleges. In this question, maybe Aditya gets a score more than Bhama and yet not get a call from even a single college. So, see, my approach will be in this question mein, that I will choose the section in which the requirement is from maximum colleges and that is section C, you know. Section C, see. Char colleges ko requirement hai. Now, if he does not get sufficient marks in section C, now suppose he gets 41. I have chose, chosen this number 41 because the minimum of the four scores required by the four colleges is 42. So if he gets 41, he will not get a call from college one, college two, college three, and college five. Ye khatam ho gaya. Okay only college four and six are remaining for college four and six i need to fail this guy in section d alone sirf section d mein agar fail karwa dun. so if he gets a score of 43 he will not be called by college six and college four 
सिर्फ दो सेक्शंस में और वो भी नहीं कि हमने बिल्कुल जीरो दे दिया हो वी हैव गिवन हिम एडिक्वेट मार्क्स बट नॉट इनफ टू बी कॉल्ड बाय द कॉलेज तो हमने 41 और 43 का स्कोर इस तरह से डिसाइड किया एंड नाउ वी आर येट लेफ्ट विद टू सेक्शंस व्हाट इफ ही गेट्स मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल स्कोर इन दिस सेक्शन दीज सेक्शन विद दिस टेक्निक वी मैक्सिमाइज हिज स्कोर टू द बेस्ट टू द बेस्ट ऑफ आर एबिलिटी टू द बेस्ट पोटेंशियल एंड येट दिस गाय poor guy does not get a call from even a single college so if we add the scores you see what do you get 184 so 184 is the answer to this question 154 marks la kar bhi usko ek bhi college se call nahi aaya aur abhi aapne college is uh, abhi aapne question 1 mein dekha ki 181 la kar bhi bhama ko sare colleges se call aa gaye the so i hope you learned a lesson from this question okay so this would be it for this question thank you so much for watching guys please do subscribe to our channel clicking on the link which is showing on your screen right away so that would be all thank you so very much this is mayank rat singh signing off take care